Hi friends! Today is going to be a book unhaul. <laughs> have been around for the past month or so you know that I have been working on reorganizing my office changing up some things moving books around bookshelves around all of that and I have a large stack of books that I will be unhauling I do believe that all of them are read books I don't think I've gotten rid of anything that I have not read and that's pretty standard for me I try not to get rid of anything that I haven't at least tried. There's probably some DNFs in there, but probably nothing that I haven't at least tried to read, with maybe a couple of exceptions of, you know, like authors behaving badly and whatnot. Some of these I may have previously talked about on the channel, um, because I have kind of pulled books over the past six months or so to get rid of and then have like left them on the shelf somewhere and I'm not sure which ones we have and have not talked about so I'm just going to go through everything I've got now. They're going directly into a box and directly out of my life. So the first books that we're going to talk about are the James Patterson Women's Murder Club series. These are not in any sort of order but I have like book 5, 11, 4, 3, 9, 8, 7, 2, 1, 12, 6. That might be all of those. I do have book 10 somewhere but I think 10 is like a large book and not a mass market paperback so it's probably in with one of the other stacks of books. Next, Anne Rice, uh, The Vampire Chronicles. I bought this several several years ago. I have not read this um, and I do not want to support Anne Rice so I will not be reading her books. I'm also not going to talk about any of the drama around any of these authors. Like if you want to know more that's what the internet's for not me. I'm also getting rid of some classics. I have uh, some Austin Sense and Sensibility, uh, Pride and Prejudice, and Persuasion. Um, I did like Pride and Prejudice but these are a set so if I want to reread it I'm not going to read it physically so I'm just going to get rid of all of these. There's a couple that we're not talking about because they're author cheaper books. Um, some more problematic author books. Um, Before I Fall and Replica by Lauren Oliver. Gone with the Wind. I read half of this when I was like in my preteens and never finished it because like the only character that I liked died. So I've been holding on to it for probably 20 years thinking that I would get back to it at some point which clearly has not happened. Also Emma The Notebook by Nicholas Sparks, uh, The Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger classics that I have not enjoyed. I wouldn't necessarily call The Notebook a classic but it was just okay. If I want to revisit that story I'll watch the movie. A shit ton of Laurel K. Hamilton books. Um, I've read all of these. I'm never gonna reread them. Um, it's both the Mary Gentry series that is up to date published and the India Blake series up to where I stopped reading when things just became a bunch of wear sex and I was out. Seduced by Moonlight, Burnt Offerings, Blue Moon, Caress of Twilight, a Stroke of Midnight, Mistral's Kiss, But Wait There's More, A Kiss of Shadows, The Killing Dance, Circus of the Damned, Am I Just Throwing These in a Pile on the Floor? Yes, The Lunatic Cafe, The Laughing Corpse, A Lick of Frost, who is actually probably my favorite character. Frost, Reese, I'm, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, Guilty Pleasures, Bloody Bones, Obsidian Butterfly, Swallowing Darkness, Divine Misdemeanors, and The Shiver of Light which is actually signed and personalized, signed and personalized because at some point I was a Laurel K. Hamilton stan but that was like 15 years ago. I don't dislike her now I'm just not into the books that she's writing now so. I told you there was another Patterson. This is book 10. Uh, Melissa Explains It All by Melissa Joan Hart. Um, I have discussed this one for sure I know. Um, she has some very questionable views about how the world works so I don't have any interest in reading this anymore. Uh, Circe by Madeline Miller. This was a recent DNF. I read about 50% of this. Uh, it's not for me. It's very dry. Not a lot happens. Um, I'm familiar with Greek mythology so I'm familiar with the story of Circe so it was just kind of boring for me. Never Night by J. Kristoff. I DNF'd this three times before I finally push pushed through and finished reading it but as much as I I like the plot but I don't like Jay's writing style in this series and I just 
am never gonna finish the series and I didn't enjoy this enough to keep it. One Day in December by Josie Silver. I DNF'd this in December, actually. Not my jam. It's not my thing. It's not for me. This is for somebody else, not me. And then the last two are books that I actually read and enjoyed and will reread in the future, but I have since purchased um, non-book of the month copies of them so that they match other books in the series. And that is The Girl the Sea Gave Back by Adrian Young and Well Met by Jen DeLuca. I have purchased uh, different copies of these, uh, this one in paperback and this one in the like short hardback to match the other books in the series because it was just aggravating me that they didn't match. So I'm going to pass these on in hopes that someone will pick them up and read them and enjoy them. So those are all of the books that I am unhauling currently. They're getting ready to go in a box and make their way on a magical journey to someone else's house. Um, I'm going to donate them to one of the local donation places and never see them again. Thank the Lord. That is going to be all I have for today. I don't know where this is going to be posted in the series of um, me redoing my office, but I will link more of those videos if they are published in the description box down below. And if they're not published yet, I will link them down there when they are. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, book, and planner related videos whenever I feel like it. If you don't want to miss anything I have going on in the future, make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell down below. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!